In drawings, you can now annotate worlds using world symbols. The dialogue layout and symbol style are dependent upon which drawing template you selected. This is an ANSI template. First, you can specify if you're using any spaces. Next is the world type. A number of optional fields appear for you to specify things like groove angle and root opening for weld prep, as well as post welding operations like grinding, flat. This weld is an other side weld. You can also add an arrow side weld, but if you accidentally put the weld on the wrong side, you can use the flip symbol button to save you entering all the details all over again. This type of weld does not need any sizes, so you can add it to the view by selecting an edge and positioning the symbol. OK, let's create a different style of weld. This time, an arrow side fillet weld with a size of 8 that is also intermittent with a length of 4 and a gap of 6 all around. This foot will be welded during installation, so add a field flag and more information in the tail if needed. Finally, one more weld symbol just to show welding both sides. A fillet weld of size 5 all around on both sides of the plate edge. Switching over to an ISO template, you can see that the weld symbol style is much different, with the arrow side weld on the top and the intermittent notation with parentheses. More weld styles will be added in a future update.